now sitting down with uh, Riley Blade. Winner. Three time, three time, three time winner at the Empire Challenge, this time running 1602. Yes. 1602. Uh, your girls team also won with 18 points. We already talked to Coach E a little bit a minute ago. Uh, but Riley, it's been a minute since we talked to you. The last time was Nike Outdoor Nationals. Talked to you at state. You had that great race winning two mile. How's it feel up just being at IE, winning your third straight title <laughs> in the IE? That's that's pretty amazing. Yeah, it definitely feels great. My goal is definitely to try and defend my title and hopefully go for the four-year next year. But it was definitely great being out here, being with my team, seeing how amazing my team did in place. So it was just great overall. This is the third year the team has won too, right? The girls, but like this is the most. I think so. <laughs> this is the most dominant win you guys had for sure. Though, yeah, right? for sure. Yeah. What's it been like too, just seeing as you've gotten better and better every year, you see your team being better every single year and you're you're a junior now, so I'm sure you're like one of the leaders on that team. Coach E was speaking towards that too. What's it been like being a part of the ascension of the Santiago girls team? Yeah, definitely from coming to me from my freshman year, we've definitely stepped it up a lot over the years and it's been great to see each person improve like individually, but just being able to put it together and race as a team and perform overall like great like be one of the nationally ranked teams is definitely a huge accomplishment for our yeah. team and definitely a great honor honestly for our school yeah. um, but it was definitely just even with having the two transfers come from Rancho it was just adding them to our program has been amazing. How's it been like because Coach E was kind of talking about how he, he when he first got there all the way back like in 2012 or 2013 like he really had to you have to translate his culture and like it took a minute but like that culture and that winning success like is now there in Santiago and you're definitely Damn. like a, a vessel for yeah. him in a way as being like a team captain and leading the way. Uh, do you feel like you're a vocal leader or are you more of like leading by example to your, uh, your um, It's definitely mixed because during like workouts I try and stay focused and I'm kind of like zoned in yeah. and then after um, we kind of are more just like friends and we all kind of just push each other and we just honestly run for each other every day. So just having them there, they're kind of just like, it's just like running with your friends. So it's pretty great. Yeah, high school cross country friends, that's always like best times, you know, at lunches together. Are you, you guys, do you guys do carb nights and stuff yeah. before races? <laughs> yeah, that was like the best thing to do. Running with like a speaker. Yeah. Goofing off, like sometimes not even doing the run. Like, we <laughs> hey, don't, don't talk about that though. You don't, you don't talk about not doing the run. But uh, also, on top of that, we're really talking about like PRing today on this episode and just like what does a PR really mean? And as you go like different course to course, what does what did a PR mean to you coming in today? And like, this is your PR on this course, not PR overall, but did that mean something to you? And how much weight do you put in? having a PR each race. Yeah, I definitely just try and run better each year on each course because I feel like it's hard to PR every single time because all courses are different. Some are a little bit different distances and you kind of, I for myself, I just set a goal for myself on each course and I try and just run as close to it as I can. And I ended up taking off a lot of time from last year to this year. So yeah. I'm super happy with it. And as you accomplish like that goal in the race, are there like set things that you want to feel within yourself or set points that you want to see like at the mile mark or two mile mark that you feel like, oh, I'm on the right track and accomplishing this goal? Yeah, my coach gave me times to shoot for for the first mile and the second mile. Yeah. He was at this first mile and second mile giving out the splits. So definitely just carrying it, coming through the first mile, knowing that I was under the time, gave me a lot of confidence going into the second mile. Is it funny when you see Coach E in a race on a scooter? <laughs> I would be trying. <laughs> I think that's really smart that he has a scooter. I never seen nobody do that before, but I, that would throw me off. I'd be like, wait, what? Yeah, he definitely can get to a lot of points on the course a lot faster than other people. So I think it helps having him being able to get to different spots. Yeah, before we get out of here, we gotta talk about just like, I don't know, like, we're trying to go to NXN again. Like obviously you're a Nike Elite camp and everything, but how does it feel how you've progressed over here? Last year you were at 1655 here, battling with Mackenzie Brown. This year you won and ran 1602 like by yourself virtually. Last week you were battling with Sadie Englehart at Clovis. Like cross country, you're a different Riley Blade this year in cross country. Like how does it feel now as we approach the postseason 
uh, kind of game planning for that, or is it kind of just the same? Um, no, it gives me a lot of confidence knowing that I was able to run the 1602 kind of by myself and being able to push off of my own pace. But I'm just super like happy with how my base training went and then seeing it during the races, like all my hard work pay off. Yeah. Just, I don't know, I can't really explain the feeling, but it's just amazing to see the work come out. It's all coming together. Yeah, it's been cool to see. Joshua has been hyping you up since day one, <laughs> telling me. He's like, freshman year, since you're a freshman, bro. I'm like, this girl's out to be beast. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it's been cool. It's been cool to, to watch you like grow and get better and better. It has to be crazy to like go to that Nike Elite Camp too and just be like one of 20, you know, girls that was picked to be there. Do you feel like you learned a lot from just being around so many great athletes too? Yeah, I love learning each person's different type of training style because almost none of us train the exact same. So it's kind of cool That's to listen and learn from each person and see what they do. Yeah, like there's, there's a whole bunch of different ways to skin a cat and just like what works for you yeah. at the end of the day. And it's also like, do you believe what you're getting? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. A That's a good point. And I feel like Definitely with Coach E, like if he was giving me workouts, like I would believe that man. Because he believes. Yeah, because he believes strongly, yeah. you know what I mean? That yeah. man is not like uh, timid, you feel me? And that's, <laughs> that's what we love about him. But appreciate you, Riley. Best of luck. Uh, league, league is the next race. Yeah, we're talking about you. So best of luck going forward, right? Thank you.